We turning liquor into wine. <laughs> Water in the wine. Liquor in the wine. Roll with it, all you gotta do is roll with it, and roll with it, all you gotta do is roll with it, and roll with it, all you gotta do is roll with it. Roll with it, all you gotta do is roll with it. Roll with it, all you gotta do is roll with it. Roll with it, all you gotta do is roll with it. Roll with it, all you gotta do is roll with it. Roll with it, all you gotta do is roll with it. Roll with it, all you gotta do is roll with it. Roll with it, all you gotta do is roll with it. Roll with it, all you gotta do is roll with it. Roll with it, all you gotta do is roll with it. Roll with it, all you gotta do is roll with it. Roll with it, all you gotta do is roll with it. Roll with it, all you gotta do is roll with it. Roll with it, all you gotta do is roll with it. Roll with it, all you gotta do is roll with it. Roll with it, all you gotta do is roll with it. Roll with it, all you gotta do is roll with it. Roll with it, all you gotta do is roll with it. Roll with it, all you gotta do is roll with it. Roll with it, all you gotta do is roll with it. Roll with it, all you gotta do is roll Different, 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 different. Okay, what she said. So today's video is us attempting. I say attempting because we have never tried this. Attempting to switch our alcohol, real liquor, into wine bottles. The reason we're doing this is because we're going on a cruise in the next couple of weeks and I, we want to want to take our own alcohol. Well, yeah, to take the take our own alcohol, but I'm saying like the reason we're doing it right now so early cuz we don't leave till the 27th. Yeah, 27th. We live on the 27th, but we're trying this early so that we can know how we need to do it. You know yeah. what I mean? Either we're going to master it right now with the one try and get it done and then it'll already be done and packed up and ready to go so we can be litty lit on the ship ship. Y'all, instead um, of getting old price ass drinks on the ship ship. Yeah, because to drink on a cruise ship, if you pay for a package is $55 for one day. Yes, and that's per person. So, you do the math. $55 for me to drink and $55 for her to drink and really that's for 15 drinks. And I'm not saying that I would drink 15 drinks by myself in a day. But you never know, they might not make them strong enough. You know how, just how you like it, so. Right, so. Put a little twist on it. So we just gonna try to figure this thing out and swap our alcohol with the liquor. So if you going on a cruise and you see this method, try it, save you some do right me, okay? If it works, if it don't work, Try it anyway and tag us. Y'all might us, be able to perfect it better than yeah, we Yeah, let better us see how y'all did. It. <laughs> so, First time for everything. Here Let's we go. We're about to check this out. I think um, my shoulder is kind of hurt, so Kay is probably going to be the one to actually do it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, y'all will see how it goes. But this is what we have. We are switching the Patron. Oh, and we also just got these little cheap bottles of wine from the 99 cent store. Yup. Uh oh. Cost about $3.99. Yeah, because I, I mean, you know, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on some wine and not even Pour be down drink. drinking it in the first place. So we just went to the 99 cent store, got some wine. We have some alcohol, real alcohol, real liquor, you know. And then we're using the dye, which we won't, I don't think for this one, we'll we may this. not use any, or if we do, it'll be very little for this one to make it, you know, kind of blend back in with this bottle. And then the red, because this is of course clear, we'll just have to put a few drops in it to change it slightly reddish, pink, whatever kind of color. So here we go, we're about to get it started. K is the master at removing these tops and stuff or whatever without tearing them. So you yeah, have so to you take have to take the whole thing off so you won't damage it. So it won't look like you've been yeah, like you tamper with it, you know. So she already kind of did that at the 99 cent store. We had to make sure you could pull it off without it being destroyed. Okay. So we have two different ways we could attempt this, but if the first way works well, then we will not have to try it the other way. So I'm really hoping that it just works out great this first way and we don't have to try the other way. I mean, I would like to try the other way still, but just to see if we can do it. But I really, I'm kind of scared to do the other way. Yes. So but, we're gonna try to remove the cork without any damage to it and also make sure it doesn't swell. Yeah. So, 
Because if the cork swells, then of course you can't get it back in. Yeah, so here we go. We're about to head outside and get it started. We'll be back. Okay, so we saw some other YouTubers. We did YouTube this first, so, you know, that don't mean that it's for real, for real. I want to see for myself, and I'm hoping it really works so we can do what we need to do, and I hope it doesn't damage the cork. So, basically, she's going to hold the shoe and hold the wine bottle, and I don't know what her method here is to this. I didn't see nobody else do the shoe like that, but this her way. So however her hands are comfortable and beat the bottle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Basically what she's trying to do here is get the pressure to build up in the bottle, I guess. And it will eventually, uh-oh, get the pressure to pull, build up in the bottle get it to push the cork out. Um, it doesn't matter if it ruins the wine because, of course, since it's some $3.99 wine, we don't care about that. We just want the alcohol in it. So for those of you who will come and say, you're destroying the wine, we don't care about that. Oh, damn, shaking the whole house. Let me see the cork. I don't think so either. So. I think I'm gonna throw my shoulder at before I get okay, this Okay, let cork me try. Out. You hold it and let me try. Let me try. Why are you looking like that? Cause your shoulder already hurt. I know, but let's see. All right, so we're giving up on this one. That's a fail on that bottle. We give up on that bottle, y'all. That's a fail. So we're gonna try the other bottle and see what happens with this one. I think because that one right there has a deeper bottom, so I think it's gonna be part of the to build a pressure on it. I don't know. So, see the difference in the bottom? She's saying that the bottom is deep. So, it might be too hard for it to build the pressure up. So, we'll see. We're going to try this one. If not, then we'll have to go to the method that I was scared to do, but we're going to do it. Let's the one see. that I want to do. Yeah, she wanted to do this one. So, not this one, the other one, which is what we'll probably have to go to. I just figured this would be the easiest route these mosquitoes eat my ass up out here yeah it's texas for you all right gonna count this one this time guys a one hand, a two <laughs> three go yeah this one working Okay, wait, let's see. Okay, the cork is coming out, guys. It's working. What was that, eight or nine? I, I think it was nine. nine. Shit, we'll know at the end. We'll put it in. 10, 11, 12. Uh-oh, I think that's enough. gonna pop you out. Okay, so that's at 12 hits. So she can probably just pull the cork out. Woo! It worked! Yay! I'm excited. Ew. What it tastes like? It tastes like spit it out. <laughs> she spit it out. Okay, so. Okay, so that one worked. I'm excited that it worked. Okay? So we all get our way here. You know? She's gonna do the other one. Because I'm scared about that other one. I don't think it's gonna work. Okay, so she's rinsing. My bad. Rinsing the bottle out, get that alcohol flavor out, I mean that wine flavor out, which if it's a little bit of flavor in there, whatever, it I'm sure it's going to hold some, but whatever. And then she's going to put the funnel in and 
probably better um i'll hold it while you pour it in babe okay so okay the cork is not swelling as of yet didn't so we'll see um wait that's that oh yeah yeah, yeah. okay pineapple amsterdam vodka if you were doing a brown liqueur I would suggest you get a dark bottle. Yes, brown liquor, dark bottle. Because that way it's not noticeable. Yes, because no matter how much food coloring you put in brown liquor, you can't put it in a clear bottle. <laughs> not gonna reproduce that, huh? Okay, so, oh, also this is what, babe? How many? 750 milliliters. 750 mils. And the bot the wine bottle it, uh, of course matches the same amount equally. Um, so we're gonna take our red dye and test it. Proper uh, mm, like a medicine. Let me try. No, 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 no. Why do you always think you get to do everything? Cause I'm a finesse. Oh, okay, finesse. Yeah, finesse trap and draw. Hey, what the what? You're mm. not supposed to roll right now. Rolling in the deep. You asshole. What? How am I asshole? This is the whole bottle. Y'all see how she be name calling? No. So we're gonna take our finger. You heard her again. Once again, we're gonna delete that. Gonna take our finger, kind of swirl it around, try not to waste any alcohol. Oh, yeah. I think that's good. I, I mean, you know. Gotta get the red dye before it runs. Good. What do y'all think? I think that's it's all right. I think that's perfect. We'll get away with that. Zoom it in a little bit, babe. You gotta get it. But no, I'm saying, but you, when you get it, see, I think that's pretty darn close to perfect. And if it's not, how would they know anyways? Like, what they got, a, a, a picture that says this exact wine from the 99 cent store and what it's supposed to look like? Get get a fresh paper towel, babe, and clean the inside. Okay, so Kay's gonna take fresh paper towel to get the dye and stuff from the top of the brim. Look at my hands, guys. Might dye your hands up a little bit, but it's all good, it's worth it. <laughs> Think about paying 105 or oh no, 65 per person, yes. 110 plus tax, uh, plus gratuity and tips. This, this, and that's just up. for one day, you know. If you don't use that in in a day, you know, well, use it all in a day. Well, hey, you just lost your bag. You lost it. Use it or lose it. Okay, so she's gonna take the cork, stick the cork back in. Getting it in there. So you guys, boom. Uh oh, just boom, like boom. Just like that. I said a boom, chicka boom. Corky, now you gotta finesse that thing. Gently slide this back on. Bam. Bam. Got us a bottle of wine. When really we know it's that pineapple. Yes. So I say I did good. We turn this into this. We turn it liquor into wine. <laughs> Water in the wine. Liquor in the wine. Okay, yeah. We turn <laughs> this right here to this. Uh oh. A lot of you people might not drink Amsterdam, but me personally, I think it's kind of smooth. Smooth, baby. It's smooth. 
No, I'm not really a big liquor drinker, so hey. I'll probably be drinking all the liquor by myself. Nah, man, that Patron, that's a different story. Okay, so there's the finished product here. I, I'm really hoping this gets away. I think it will. Oh no. Too red? No, I just don't, I don't know. Maybe it needed to be more red. No, I think this is good enough. Okay. All right, guys, let us know what you think as far as this one goes. And so we're going to get ready to start.